I'm Robin Williams, I'm an interventional radiologist. I'm going to show you how to do an arch angiogram and selectively catheterize the right innominate artery on the Mentis Vist C simulator. So we'll start as always with a standard J-tip guide wire, which we advance into the descending thoracic aorta. And over that, we're going to introduce a pigtail catheter. And I'm going to advance the guide wire around the aortic arch. It's just gone into one of the head and neck vessels there. into the ascending thoracic aorta. And we're going to follow that with a pigtail catheter. And we get a far better view of that if we swing the C arm, the image intensifier, round into the left anterior oblique. And we'll just center the imaging over the aortic arch. We'll advance the pigtail past the vessels. Withdraw the catheter and position the pigtail just past the apex of the arch. Remove the guide wire. And then we're going to do a subtracted angiogram with a power injection of 25 mils of contrast at 10 mils a second. Make sure DSA is selected. and inject the contrast. And there you can see a clear view of all three arch vessels, the innominate, the left common carotid, and the left subclavian artery. And we're just going to selectively catheterize the origin of the innominate artery and do an injection into, directly into there. So we're going to reintroduce the J wire and remove the pigtail catheter. Be careful where the tip of the J wire ends up. You want to try and avoid touching the, the aortic valve if possible. We're then just going to change to a selective caster. And in this case, we're going to use a Berenstein catheter, five French. Reinsert this over the guide wire past the target vessel and we're going to engage it by withdrawing the catheter rather than advancing it into it. So this stage we pull the, cath the, pull the guide wire back into the catheter, let the catheter take up its shape and you can see the simple shape of this catheter with just a little curve at the tip and as we withdraw it getting close to the origin we're just going to rotate it through 180 degrees until it falls in. And we can check whether it's engaged the origin by injecting a little bit of contrast. And there we can see contrast going up the innominate artery, bifurcating into the, left, into the right common carotid and to the right subclavian. If we fail to engage and we come past, what we need to do is reinsert the guide wire back around the aortic arch advance the catheter back into the ascending aorta and repeat the process. Remove the guide wire. Uh, as we withdraw the catheter, just gradually turn it through 180 degrees so we engage the origin of the innominate artery. And again, we can confirm that with a little contrast injection. And we can do a subtracted run for the best possible imaging.